The following presentation is a gift from the team at Streamline Publishing, publishers of Fine Art Connoisseur, Plain Air Magazine, and weekly newsletters Fine Art Today, Realism Today, Plain Air Today, and American Watercolor, and events, the Plain Air Convention and the Figurative Art Convention. We offer over 400 different art instruction tutorials and ultra high quality video by the world's leading artists. If you like what you see, help us support our artists and our team with your purchase. Each video aired has a special discount code for today only in the comments section with a link to the video offered. And to see everything we do, or if you want to receive notice of new releases, new products, and new events for artists, simply click the other link, which says, see everything we do. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Eric Rhodes, publisher and founder of Fine Art Connoisseur and Plein Air Magazine. We're here every day at 3 p.m. Eastern. The goal is to keep you focused and growing in art because, of course, these are strange times we're living in, right? Okay. So, today we have a classic from the great Irby Brown. Though Irby isn't with us anymore, his name and his instruction will live on forever. This one's called Los Goladrinas. this morning at the Rancho de los Golondrinos just outside of Santa Fe. I'm going to attempt to do a, a sketch of this uh, chapel here and uh, I'll be just blocking it in right away here and then uh, I would also like to talk about my palette here. I organize my palette and use the colors that I know that I'm going to be needing in any particular place. And uh, so I can explain more about the palette and uh, I won't do that now because we need to get started and uh, get this, uh, uh, this uh, chapel blocked in the way I want it to go. and. Uh, then uh, we will begin to rough in the value patterns in it. Established the way I like it, I'll begin to mass uh, the uh, patterns in, and uh, I squint my eyes. One of the important things uh, when you're working outdoors is to uh, squint your eyes and simplify the dominant patterns that you have. I'm also thinking about the patterns of light and dark. I try to simplify the, uh, the composition by uh, keeping it probably three values, dark, middle tone, and light. 
to get it established. Later on, I might change some of those things. But uh, primarily, my interest right now is getting this uh, blocked in and get the value patterns established. And uh, then I think about more of the detail that needs to be put in. But I keep it very simple in the beginning. And that's what I recommend highly, uh, particularly to squint your eyes and simplify the patterns. And that's what I'll do. I've got it blocked in now, and I'm going to uh, block in the major darks that I see. Now, in the dark pattern here, they you'll see different values from dark to light, but I'm going to simplify all of the darks into one pattern. So I'll go ahead and get that started. Uh, I am continuing to block in the dominant uh, patterns that we have here and uh, oops, passed my brush there by the white and got it accidentally on my uh, uh, on the palette on the canvas here. I'm continuing simply to squint my eyes and painting the patterns that I see here, patterns of light and dark. And I'm simplifying all of these darks uh, into one, uh, one value. get the dominant pattern established. I'll uh, block in the, the pattern of these trees that's coming out the side there. this blocked in, I'm going to, uh, it's been basically transparent up to now. I'm washing it in with a transparent dark and getting the darks established. And uh, I have the, the thing down now that I feel is uh, all that's necessary. So I'm going to begin to introduce other values and this one will be uh, basically a middle tone value. So I'll uh, mix the, uh, the value that I need. Color.
began to work on the Chamesa bush that we have there. And I'm going to put another one up in here. As a matter of fact, I'll introduce uh, three of these forms um, for the composition, the interest in the composition. I'm going to go back now and strengthen uh, the darks that uh, that we have here. Putting in uh, the shadows of this building in a in a cooler color, leaning toward the uh, the blues. It's a it's a cast shadow from this building, and uh, so I'm introducing these uh, cast shadows from the building here on the ground plane. I'm going to introduce the, the uh, ground, uh, the, the value of light and dark on the ground plane. First of all, I want to put this post here. So. <clears throat> okay, the the value of the ground plane will be next to the lightest value. Um, the lightest value, of course, will be, uh, in general, the sky. But I'm going to uh, block in the value and color of the ground plane. And then the the um, the pattern of the tree that's behind the chapel I'm just going to suggest some limbs in there, uh, a little pattern of, uh, of the limbs that we see, and uh, that's probably too dark, so I'm going to raise the value of that. And uh, suggest some of these smaller leaves and then I go back into it and then I will uh, refine my drawing of the tree but I'm uh, laying a foundation here to uh, block in the sky that comes through these trees here. So I'm going to make some passages in here. Then I'm going to rough in the sky. It's a cool sky, generally toward uh, blue. I like to put a warm wash into the sky before I put the local color. Uh, I want a warm tone down there to uh, before I put on the 
dominant uh, dominant color. Just a uh, suggestion of of warm tone. And then I'll go back with the local color, which is dominantly uh, blue. Okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> begin to uh, block in some of the other smaller things that I've ignored up to this time, and that's what I do. I try to see the whole thing very simply in the beginning and get the dominant patterns, the dominant lights and darks established. And at this stage here, I'll go back and begin to uh, suggest some of the the posts that I see sticking up here. I'm using those posts because I like the verticals that it introduces into the painting. Uh, sometimes when I'm working on location, uh, I'll put posts where they're there or not because I want something vertical, particularly if you have a lot of horizontal lines to give it a little uh, vitality. So I'm going to put some of these posts in. That's the top part of the post, which registers pretty gray. I'm going to dip into my gray there. And then the post goes down, uh, and it registers lighter where we have this dark shadow here. So I'm going to uh, come up in value and so that uh, it'll register lighter than the, the, the uh, background there. Now, it's not a lot a lighter at this place because it's not getting direct light. Uh, so I'll use that same value to uh, suggest posts that is holding up this uh, porch. Here. <clears throat> Go back and uh, get uh, establish some more of these uh, posts. And now I'm going to suggest more of the uh, limbs that are on this old uh, uh, cottonwood tree. It has some very interesting shapes, uh, interesting rhythms, I call it. Rhythms that um, gives it some, uh, some interest. Soften up some edges uh, along the contours of the roof here. Where the light is hitting these, these posts, the actual light, and uh, there's also some boards here that registers quite gray and the light is partially hitting that so I'll uh, suggest that and then the roof of this, uh, this 
porch that's coming out across here. I'm going to uh, bring in some light along the, the top of it. Now, the darks that I've put in have been transparent darks uh, in the pattern of the shadows in the uh, chapel. And uh, I'm going to put in what I call body color. That is, it's not transparent. It's, I have other uh, lighter values in there so that it is uh, opaque rather than uh, to... Uh, rather than too transparent. Well, that is Las Goladrinas, which is a little village right around Santa Fe. And you can learn more about the full-length video from Irby Brown at lilyartvideo.com. Remember, we're offering a special discount on the full-length video today only. You can find it in the comments section. Well, thanks for watching today. In case you're new to us, we have 97 amazing painting secrets from the world's best artists. It's on video. It's two hours. It's a $100 value, and you can get yours for free. Just go to 97tips.com. Hey, thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'm Eric Rhodes.